Thank you for coming to Productive Corporation's 2-Minute Tech. Today we're going to look at install and config of an ArcServe UDP appliance. I wonder who's at the door. Let's go and check it out. Ooh, it's my new ArcServe appliance getting delivered by the ArcServe guy. He's not going to deliver yours, but that's who delivered mine. What's in this bad boy? The 7200V. All right, let's get this baby out of the box. What do we got here? Rail kit? Appliance? Sure looks heavy. I'm going to let Patrick carry it over to the rack. Slide it right in there. Let's take a look at the back of this thing. First, we have a standard VGA port, dual 1 gig NICs, four USB ports. The blacks are 2.0, the blues are USB 3.0, a serial port on COM1, an IPMI port, and an external storage device port or SAS port for tape drives. Now, once we plug into the network, we'll go through some DOS screens where we can add the device to the network. Once that is done, we'll be ready to go through the first job wizard. First thing to choose is if this will be a standalone appliance or a slave to another UDP instance. Don't worry, you can reconfigure this later if things change. Next, you'll set a password for the data store. Make sure to memorize this. Next, you'll set up your email configuration, which is great for receiving notifications. If you don't know what these settings are, skip this screen and you can address this under the configurations menu in the main console later on. Now we have an opportunity to set up replication to another recovery point server. Again, this can be configured later if you don't currently have the requirement or haven't set up a secondary RPS server yet. Now we can create our first backup plan, including importing our servers, whether they are physical or virtual. And now we're ready to log into the console. Thank you for coming to Productive Corporation's 2-Minute Tech. If you need additional product information, configuration, or implementation services, please contact us at help at productivecorp.com, 800-726-4099. We are here to help.